at the clouds. Nope, not that one. Not that one either. Nope, definitely not that one. You might be wondering what I'm talking about. Well, my mom and I were at the community garden yesterday. It was so cool. Everyone in our neighborhood came and planted something. My mom and I planted tomatoes. I heard my mom saying that the next thing we need is for it to rain so that the plants we all planted can grow. So, I'm looking up at the clouds and trying to guess which one will bring the rain we need. Not that one. Nope, not that one. Hey, what does that cloud look like? Yeah, a rhinoceros. What does that cloud look like? Um, yeah, <laughs> that looks like a pig with a monkey riding on its back. <laughs> but none of these clouds look like rain clouds, and we really need rain so our tomatoes can grow. I know what to do. God, can you make it rain so that our community garden can grow? That would be awesome! Oh, and you're awesome, God! Thanks! Amen! I'm gonna keep looking for rain clouds while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 4. One day, Elisha and the people traveling with him were visiting a place that was in the midst of a famine. A famine is when the land is dry and there is no food. They didn't know what to do, but Elisha told them to cook a large pot of stew. They didn't have anything to put in it, so one of the men with Elisha went out and picked a bunch of gourds, which are kind of like pumpkins, but skinnier. He sliced them up and threw them in the stew, even though he didn't know what they were. The stew was terrible, and no one could eat it. But Elisha listened to God closely and did what God said. He knew what the stew needed. He got flour and sprinkled a little bit in. After that, the stew was good for them to eat. Another time, a man brought Elisha 20 loaves of bread. It wasn't enough to feed everyone, but Elisha told him to pass it around anyway, because God told him there would be plenty for them to eat. In fact, there would be leftovers. The people who were with Elisha weren't sure about this, but they did what he said, and sure enough, they all ate until their bellies were full and there was more for later. Even in the midst of a great famine, when Elisha and the people traveling with him needed food, Elisha never worried because he knew, I can ask God for what I need. Well, friends, God did bring the rain that we needed for the garden. In fact, I found out that gardener Mary over there, she's the one that runs the community garden, comes and waters the garden herself whenever it needs it. So God not only brought rain, but God also gave us Gardener Mary. God really knows what we need. My mom and I picked so many tomatoes. We picked big, fat tomatoes like this one and little round tomatoes like this one. We are going to make them into a food pantry. That's a place where people go to get food when they're in need. Whoa, that reminds me of today's Bible story. I guess God is still giving people food when they need it. Oh, and the coolest thing is that God is using us to be the ones who get to give them the food they need. We better hurry. I've become kind of a cloud expert and that cloud right there that looks like a turtle blowing bubble usually comes with... Yep, thunder. Here comes the rain. I guess God is still answering my prayer. Remember, friends, I can ask God for what I need. See you next time. Thanks for learning and growing with me.